This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist, and I see a lot on social media, a lot of coaches now are just over the top with the whole fake enthusiasm thing. It's coaches that celebrate the fact that there's 10 kids in the weight room. Coaches that college guys, when they get a recruit, they act like they're just totally out of control about it. So much rah-rah going on with coaching right now. A lot of that started with the whole Pete Carroll win forever attitude. All that fake energy and a lot of making noise like you're an animal in the jungle and you got to be louder than everybody else because you really can't fight back, so you just scream as loud as you can. I see that all throughout coaching now, whether it's high school or college. It's just absolutely absurd. That stuff isn't going to help you win. It actually gets you closer to losing. Now, if you really want to win, you got to spend your energy focused on getting your players correctly aligned and getting them to go from point A to point B over and over and over. So when all these guys want to develop an erection because a division three coach visited their school and they got to make sure everybody on Twitter knows that the head football coach from Keystone college showed up at their school and they got to let everybody know you spend your time focused on how do I better get my players from point A to point B on zone dive? How do I better get my players from point A to point B on mid triple? How do I handle situations that happen on trap? What happens if they don't blitz on toss? If they throw the ball and we run switch and they go quarters, what's going to happen? That's what's going to get you closer to winning. So... What I say to you, if you want to create the elite performance environment, stop wasting your time on fake enthusiasm. Pete Carroll's the exception that proves the rule. Everybody tried to do the whole, let's just yell real loud and run around all the time and be super positive and, and just scream, scream, scream and celebrate, you know, silly things. It didn't get you any closer to winning. It just exhaust you, and you don't spend time on what really matters, which is alignment and assignment. Your time right now has to be focused on, well, what happens if they blitz on zone dive? What happens if number one takes the B back and number two takes the pitch on mid-triple and then start drawing up different situations and see if the rules apply within each concept. That's where you need to spend your time right now. That's going to get you closer to winning. Also, making sure that your players know where to go by their first game. You got, you got a lot of time, but lots of coaches, they'd rather just post pictures on the internet and come up with all these chants and... You focus on alignment assignment and you can thank me later. Talk soon.